What's up everybody? Dan the man in the house. I want to welcome you back to Dan the man's weekly. Today is Thursday, November 17, 2016 plenty to talk about we have seven days away until Thanksgiving and eight days away till Black Friday <laughs> so who's ready for Thanksgiving gobble gobble <laughs> and have an announcement we will have the best of 2016 slideshow it will like I said it'll be either before or after Christmas we'll keep you posted on that and and we have another birthday tribute and I'll have to keep it as a surprise so I will let you know who's the next birthday tribute will be so I'll keep you guys posted okay switching gears now on to the update on the post election where Trump is expected to sworn in as the next president of the United States in January but the protests will not stop it still continues some say it will go on for the next four years until Trump is out of the office if you know what I mean well that's what they say and you know, and there's uh, closing in the 5 million petition signatures to overturn the electoral vote just to get Hillary Clinton into office, if you know what I mean. And there was a, a retiring senator from Oregon plans to propose a bill to abolish the electoral votes, if you know what I mean. And get this, the, the Republican senator wants to Congress to investigate the, the Russian hack that, that they claiming that they may have got Trump elected and they, they're claiming the Russians may be the hack responsible because of the Trump and Putin's uh, connection and Congress may want the FBI involved, that's what they're saying. But that's weird. We don't know what's going to happen, but I'll keep you posted what's going on with the protests and the petitions and Trump. Um, I don't know. But, okay, excluding Trump. Forget Trump. Okay. But, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Alright, switching gears now. On to the Cowboys. Well, how about them Cowboys? <laughs> yeah, they still remain first on the NFC. They just defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now they're eight wins, one loss. They're up against the Baltimore Ravens this coming Sunday. Yeah, quote, Raven nevermore. <laughs> All right, boys, keep it up. Go Cowboys. <laughs> also, a recap to the UFC 205. Conor McGregor made history. He's got two divisional belts. Yeah, he defeated Eddie Alvarez. Emmy Chiate, she lost to Raquel Pennington, who she became the new Bantamweight champion. And yep, she announced her retirement. So we wish Missy a Tate the best. And you're not gonna believe this. Did Bruce Buffer pull the Steve Harvey? Oh man, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. First Steve Harvey, now Bruce Buffer. Oh, this can't be good. <laughs> All right, who's ready for WWE Survivor Series this coming Sunday? Yep. It'll be three matches for Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. Two of them are five on five, and one's ten on ten. And get this, one of them's gonna be the Divas match, well, uh, five on five, if you know what I mean. And The Miz is up against Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Champion, and Brian Kendrick's up against Kalisto for the Cruiserweight Champ. And the main event we're all been waiting for after 12 years, and Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. Yep. Round two, a rematch since WrestleMania 20. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, looking forward for Survivor Series. And yep, SmackDown uh, just celebrates its 900th episode last Tuesday. Happy 900th SmackDown. <laughs> All right, switching gears now on to miscellaneous news. Speaking of wrestling, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson is named this year's People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. <laughs> Well, you smell what the sexiest man alive is cooking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, switching gears now. Uh, recap on 306 Sessions. Old Kids and Theory Room, they did an amazing performance. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking forward to see wrestlers like me this coming Sunday. Now make it a performance. And last Tuesday at the Barbara Open Mic Series, Nicholas Rose did an amazing performance. And he had an EP release called Split Coffee. 
It's out on Bandcamp and check out his website. I'll leave the link right down there. And in addition to that, I did a special edition featuring Nicholas Roach. I'll leave the link right down there. Please check it out. Okay, okay switching gears now. Oh, I forgot to mention the... <laughs> yep, very bad news. Uh, there was two... Two people died on I-10. One on last Sunday trying to cross on Hawkins, and the other one, uh, next and the next night on last Monday, turns out to be a suicide. Oh my gosh! So, so please be very careful on the I-10. Man, what is going on there? All right, now this has been. <laughs> yep, very bad news. Okay, switching gears now. Well, on a sadder note, it's been a, a sad year since Paris was attacked. Um, around 130 people were lost. So, always my thoughts and prayers goes out to the friends and family and the people in, in Paris. And, as always, pray for Paris. On a sadder note, Gwen Enfield, she is the award-winning longtime PBS news anchor and journalist. Um, sadly, Gwen Enfield passed away at the age of 61. Rest in peace to the PBS news anchor, Gwen Enfield. Also on a sadder note, actor Robert Vaughn, he, he's been on several films and TV including The Original Magnificent Seven, The Bridge at Regman, Bullet, Delta Force, Joe's Apartment, Basketball, and back in the late 50s he earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor in The Young Philippians, and on television Best to Remember as Napoleon Solo in The Man from U.N.C.L.E and also the protectors and the A team in the final season he had a recurring role on Law and Order and you might remember a, a couple of years back right here in El Paso he appeared in the Michael Gopin commercials um, long before William Shatner came along and yeah it was back in the day <laughs> I'll never forget uh, his appearance in the Michael Gopin commercial insane that was, that was very nice and sadly, Robert Vaughn passed away at the age of 83. Rest in peace, Robert Vaughn. And it has been an 11 years since um, WWE Hall of Famer and, and El Paso Zone, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, been 11 years since he passed away. So, Rest in so, rest in peace to the legendary Eddie Guerrero. Viva la raza! Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this up. A shout out to Old Kids and Theory Room. They did an amazing performance at the 306 sessions last Saturday, last Sunday. Nice. And to Nicholas Roach, an outstanding performance at the Barbed Wire Open Mic Series last Tuesday. And again, I did a special edition with Nicholas Roach. Um, please check it out. Uh, happy anniversary to the 306 sessions. And, and also shout out to Ruben Chang. It's been a long year. And yep, I was there since the very beginning. There was two five-year anniversaries for... Or that's something I know. Uh, happy fifth anniversary to New Era Wrestling. Uh, it's our wrestling group right here in El Paso. Some very nice shows. I'll get a picture of that whenever I show up to uh, any of the events. And don't miss the fifth anniversary it's tomorrow night. Luke Cage going to make an appearance there. Okay. And also a uh, happy five year anniversary to Lil Bit Texas. And a happy anniversary to Josie Puerto Hernandez and her husband, Daniel Hernandez. Josie, Daniel, happy anniversary. My best to Emma and the twins. Okay. A big congrats to my dear friend, Jennifer Molina. She just tied the knot to Stephen Wick. 
Jennifer, Steven, congrats, best wishes. A big congrats to Cassandra Archer. She just had her baby girl, Madeline. Cassandra, congrats, Mom. Also, a big congrats to Robert Barajas and his wife, Stephanie. They just had their baby boy, Sebastian. Robert, Stephanie, congrats, Mom and Dad. All right, birthdays today. Leah Marie Beltran. Leah, long time. Happy birthday. Aaron Schumann. Hey, Goof. Happy birthday. Best to your family. A Andrew Barjona from Board Film Studios. Andrew, happy birthday. Also, Alejandra Tapia and James Sadino. Happy birthday. Okay. All right, birthdays tomorrow. Jacob Quinn. Hey, Jake, happy birthday. Give my best to your brothers. Crystal Misco, Steven Saplas, and Katia Belchep. Happy birthday. Birthday Saturday, Emily Jacobs Landry. Emily, happy birthday. Best to your family. Aaron Lee Cullihan. Aaron, happy birthday. Alex Hancock, Austin Williams, and Kat French. Happy birthday. Birthday Sunday, my old friend, Freddie Acosta. Freddie, happy birthday. And Gabriela Asianaga. Gabby, happy birthday. All right, birthday's Monday. Jessica Adocto Ariano. Jessica, happy birthday. Best to Chino and give my best to Annika. Oh, and uh, Lizzie says hello. Jenny Bolin Dooley. Jenny, happy birthday. Best to your family. Janet DeGro, Cameron Ortiz, and Christina Calderon Valle. Happy birthday. Birthday's Tuesday. My old friend, Pam Veloz Macioto's. Pam, happy birthday. Best to your family. Rocio Stevens, Zian Burkett, happy birthday. Birthday's Wednesday, my old friend Marissa Franco. Marissa, happy birthday. Heidi Rodriguez, Heidi, happy birthday, best to your family. Russ Hollebeck, hey Russ, happy birthday. And Daniel Johnson, hey Daniel, happy birthday. Tell Cheryl I said hello. And birthday's next Thursday, Siobhan Guretta. Siobhan, happy birthday, best to your family, and tell Lauren I said hello. Kendra Smith, hey Kendra, happy birthday. Joseph Ray Spencer and Danny Baeza, happy birthday. And birthdays next Friday, my dear friend Tori Burkett. Tori, happy birthday, best to your family. And Mike Cook, Mike, happy birthday, and yes, I'm in the house. Tell Denise and the rest of the family I said hello. Okay, and that's all the birthdays for right now. And which means that is all it for right now. Oh well, we don't know what is what is all going on here. I got a lot of things to do and yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, y'all have a great rest of the week and the weekend. I'll see you on either the day before Thanksgiving or the day on Thanksgiving, whichever comes. Y'all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Message me. Like my page on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe me on YouTube. Hashtag Dan the Man's Weekly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Dan the Man Tennessee. Signing out.